This is a piece of art that would hang in like an adobe house in the Santa Fe desert and the owners have like all the coolest house plants and it's an Airbnb and it's rented out every night because all the influencers want to stay there and they want to take lots of photos because it's like a very earthy neutral color palette, very minimally decorated, very cool. That's where this would hang. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shada Campbell. Welcome back. Today we are going to do some really simple, trendy wall art in a great color palette. We're using dollar store paints and brushes and um, if you want to make some rainbow and plant themed artwork, you can follow along with me or you can get creative, work in the same color palette and do something really cool all your own. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a quick chat about supplies. First of all, we're using really, really simple, easily accessible supplies, uh, starting with these canvas boards. Uh, mine are from Fredericks, uh, but you can get them at the dollar store or many art stores. I also have these crafters acrylic paints, and I know at least in Canada, these are sold at so many dollar stores. And then I have really, really cheap brushes. Cheap brushes are actually better for this project. I've got an egg carton for mixing. Uh, I'm just gonna cut open my canvases because they're all wrapped in plastic, and then we are going to uh, talk about the paint colors. So if you want the same colors as me, uh, you can grab them. So, okay, what do I have here? I have a natural beige, a warm white, a coral blush, burnt sienna, ah, um, golden brown, red bird, and black. <laughs> Those are the colors if you want to, if you see the same brand, those are the shades that I am using. I'll put those in the description too. And then I am going to just go ahead and empty a little bit, not too much, into the egg carton. The egg cartons are so great for these little craft projects because you can just toss it in the uh, trash afterwards. And once I dump out my seven colors, I'm gonna start mixing up a few other shades. So I am mixing that burnt sienna and the blush to get this kind of, it's like a more grown up, blush, I think, but I really do love that coral shade as well. I think that's gonna pair really nicely with the natural beige. Just put a little more brown in there. Um, and gosh, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna mix up the red bird and the burnt sienna and get, uh, again, just like a little bit more of an elevated reddish color. And uh, then I'm gonna create a few shades of this yellow, so this golden brown that looks like mustard to me. I'm gonna make a darker one by mixing in brown and I'm gonna make a lighter one by mixing in the warm white. But you guys should feel free to play around and you can see I've got this really fun, I think quite hipstery color palette. Is that not so on trend, those colors? You can't tell me no, those are the trendiest colors. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I just wanna get painting. So mix up your palette, have fun, mix some colors, get dollar store paints and uh, let's do this. So again, I'm using these really cheap brushes and I think you're gonna see why. It's because these, I think these are hog hair brushes, these really stiff white bristles that are always cheap. Um, they give me nice brush work. They're gonna give these uh, strokes that you can really see and in some areas where the paint is a little thinner I, I like the way that the uh, that the brushwork comes through and I like these rough ends that I'm getting I'm creating a color mat but I'm leaving lots of negative space around the outside I love the white of the canvas the natural look of the canvas and I'm also very happy with this simple swatch of natural beige, um, this peachy color. It looks so good and we're going to set that aside and let it dry. Uh, but we've already created a great foundation for a fun painting. Now the next painting that we're gonna start on is the rainbow and this one we can do all in one go. I'm gonna start in pencil and draw two semicircles, uh, one smaller and one larger. And I am starting with that dark, sophisticated red color that I mixed up. That's the red bird and the burnt sienna mixed. And I'm taking a flat uh, bristle brush here and I'm just using the shape and width of the bristles, as you can see, as they fan out to get this nice swatch of color. And I just trace along that line that I drew and it totally does not need to be perfect. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is very perfectly imperfect. You're either watching this thinking like, this is so cool, I've seen so much art like this on Instagram, or you're like, wait, what? Why does it look 
<laughs> like kids art. But I think it's just simple and beautiful. And sometimes all we want in our homes is something really understated um, and pretty like this. So the rainbow is a great motif and I've seen so many like neutral colored rainbows on bags and t-shirts and Insta posts and all the rest of it. So I'm also using this uh, darker coral that I mixed up and that was a mix of, gosh, what was that? Was that the coral and the burnt sienna? the blush coral and so I'm gonna take that uh, color that I used on the bottom rainbow move it up to the top only on the top rainbow it'll be uh, the first color and then I'm gonna use the warm white as the second stripe of color in the top rainbow now the rainbow on top will just have uh, three colors and the one on the bottom will have four, but you could play around with this. You could just do one rainbow in the center of the canvas. That was an idea I had. Or lay down a color mat, that beautiful peachy color mat with like a dark neutral rainbow of browns. Um, <laughs> only a grown up would make like a brown rainbow and be like, that's so nice. Um, anyways, you can see I'm just sort of mixing the colors uh, using some different ones on top and some of the same ones. So I like where I got to here, I was like, do I wanna do black on the bottom? But then I decided to go for more of like a, a poo brown, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just using the uh, burnt sienna with just a tiny bit of black mixed in. And yeah, I love the way that looks. Super neutral, very earthy, definitely gonna look good in that trendy Airbnb. <laughs> um, so that one's all done. We'll set it aside and we'll keep moving on. Now for the third piece of art, what I'm doing here is just taking the raw canvas and I am tracing two semicircles and I'm gonna use a ruler to make them into uh, semicircles. Again, they don't have to be perfect and I've just offset them slightly. You can see I kind of played around till I had it just the way I wanted. And then what I'll do is I'll erase those extra pencil lines. I'm gonna flip that. And now I'm going to use some of these uh, yellow, these mustardy colors and I am going to color in or paint in these semicircles. Again, using those stiff bristle brushes, I can get some nice variation where you can see some of the brush strokes. Some of the paint is a little thinner. Some of the edges are a little frayed, a little messy, and I, I really like that. And I'll use that lighter mustard that I mixed up on the bottom. I could have gone a little darker, so it just depends on the color palette that you want for your room or your home. Um, but I think having sort of two shades of one color is a nice way to get a look that's a little bit elevated and sophisticated and looks a little bit thoughtful. Now we're gonna set that one aside to dry as well. And I'm gonna come back here to the first color mat that I did, that peachy color mat. And we are going to draw just like a very, very simple leaf uh, or branch and uh, you can start it in pencil. And then I'm using that really nice bright blush coral. I'm so into, oh, I have so many good color palettes right now that revolve around peach. Okay, so this really washed out peach color with coral, love that. Or what about washed out peach with bright red? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> or what about peach and black and white? Love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just having fun. And these are the colors that I wanna see in my home every day. And uh, as I was painting this, I sort of realized, oh, I like the look. I'm using a smaller brush with a nylon bristle, actually, I should mention that. Uh, but I did still like that very uh, rough look and kind of using the cheap brushes and the texture of the canvas to my advantage here and going for a little bit of a scrubbed away look or a, uh, a frayed look. And um, I was so pleased with that one, I decided to do another one. So for this one, I'm gonna rock that peach, black, and white color combo. And I laid down a slightly smaller peach color mat. So I did this off of camera. Um, it's a little bit more unbalanced because I left more space, more white space, more negative area at the bottom. Um, and then I am just doing a really, really simplified uh, leaf design or branch design with three or four or five, okay, five <laughs> leaves. And they're all just black, really simple. And then I was like, oh, it kind of looks funny. Boom, turned it upside down <laughs> and I'm really happy with it. So these pieces are so simple. They can literally be viewed from any angle and they'll work. Uh, that's what we're all about today. Just really, really simple, fun art for your home. I think simple looks so good on the walls, just minimal. 
For this last one, I am drawing an almond shape here and that is gonna become an eye, painting it in again with just a bristle brush and some black paint, black acrylic, and I'm just going over the outline that I made, doing the pupil in the middle of the eye, and then this is all gonna to come together when we add a few eyelashes and that'll be the final step. I'm just gonna balance out that circle in the center and then for these eyelashes, they're just literally one brush stroke get some fresh paint every couple eyelashes and just move the brush towards your body so that they all sort of fan out in a beautiful uh, symmetrical semicircle although you're not going for perfect symmetry or anything like that so that one's kind of more graphic and punchy again it doesn't really matter what way is up and down you can flip it around and those are my pieces of really simple hipstery cool understated minimal art that belongs in a house with lots of plants and lots lots of neutral colors. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you'll give this a try and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon with a new tutorial.